Hello everybody, welcome back to the stream. Coming at you tonight with uh, NA League 2, Mexican versus White Wolves. On commentary, Mr. Demon. What's up? Welcome, welcome. Should be a pretty good fight between these two uh, teams tonight. I think they are uh, pretty evenly matched. Yeah, honestly, uh, White Wolves, they're really good with their rotates. Mexicans just really good brawlers, so it's going to be interesting to see how these teams go at it. Oh yeah, and we will be bringing people a front row seat. All right, so, yep, I knew that was going to happen as soon as I even thought about doing lineups. <laughs> uh, over on the White Wolf side, by is Blade and Lone Killer with Iron Beast. All three in Super Conquerors. Don't see that much anymore. Uh, Ace Gunner in the Machine, uh, Milano in the Bat Chat, Dudu in the Iron Army, and Hilltooth in the Tehran. And on uh, Mexican side, you have Cotty in the VZ55, Chucky in, in the Chieftain MK6, Dark in the Type 5 Heavy, uh, Kratos in the IS7, Yagma in the Bad Chat 25T, Choi in the CS63, and Tough in the E4. Yeah. Honestly, that Arnie is kind of an interesting pick for this map. You know, I like the I like the Arnie. Um, I've seen it played very well in a few of the CTW matches. Um, just a nice armored up medium. Yeah. Like, I know it's re really strong. The problem with it, it's kind of slow. Like, in my opinion, I'd prefer yeah. like, a T-62. Now, where... Um... Looking at the wrong side of the map. Where did they send it? They sent it up the hill. I mean, he is getting a boost from the machine, so he got up there unscathed. Kratos missed his shot. Super Conquerors are going to hold Kratos down here. AG. At least Super Conquerors got to be careful. I mean, where they're poking, that Tehran can get, or no, the E4 will get a good shot in on these guys. Yeah, like losing that hill, it's not that big of a deficit on how they set up. They're pretty much all covered from it. Yeah, the bat chat did take a couple of shots. He's going to rotate back out of the island. Looks like Dark and Lone Killer kind of going at it, both hitting each other with AG. Now, how do you feel about the three Super Conks? Do you think it would have been better with Valor's Chieftains? Mm -hmm. It really depends on what they're going for. Uh, the Valors have their upsides, but like that Super Kong, it's a little bit harder to hit with HG just because it has that space armor. Got a little bit more health. Like there's benefits to both. Um, I think they're doing it for the exact reason that Lone Killer's kind of doing. You're able to peek over that uh, rock because you're a little bit taller. Oh, that's a good point. All right, so Iron Orny machine gonna start rotating down off of the hill. Looks like they may move over, start getting some A cap pressure. The Mexicans just holding firm. They don't really need to push. Wait to wait for them to make a play. No, the ball is all in what what will court. They have to make the moves. Now the way they're they're stacking up, they're not. I don't know if that I seven lit that path, but it looked kind of like they were just going to come for a push here for a second. Yeah, I think he definitely had to light the bat yeah. since Chucky also shot. Iron Arnie immediately taking shots from Chucky the moment he tries to peek too. It's a good shot. I actually didn't realize he had shots from right there. Ooh, the bat takes a big 500 row from Kratos. They're going to have to be careful where Tough's sitting. I think he's going to have a shot on that bat if he tries to peek out on the Kratos. All right, they're rotating Hounds Tooth around in the Tehran, too. Yes, I, I believe you were right. We were. Uh, we did see the, the TD setting back there get a good shot over under the flag one day. 
I believe you're correct. Bad check guy got lucky. Kratos managed he managed to block a shot from Kratos at a seven. Ooh. Ooh, but Mexican completely shifted off of the mid. Dark's now over there on that A cap. Oh, here, tough. Comes, here comes the push. Tough got a good shot into Lone Killer, though. He's down to a thousand yeah. health, and they're starting to push mid. Now the machine is going to go down on this push. Ooh, Lone Killer gets hit by the E4 again and caught on fire. Goes down. Uh, Ace Gunner goes down. Lone is down to run, down to about half health. Now this IS-7 hasn't taken a lick of damage since this push began. They're just trying to focus out that high health E5. Now by his blade, he's going to go down to a ram right there. Look. On B's down. Hell's tooth down. Just the, like, the amount of crossfire angles that Mexican has right now. Yeah, I believe they... I mean, I think even the meds from the, the island were getting shot in there. It was uh, a very well laid crossfire. Bounce the shot off Yagma. Okay, now the back gonna run. Not really anywhere for uh for you to run to on mines. Uh either way he goes here, he's gonna run into a tank. And he's on reload at that, and that's Yeah. And I don't wanna say like, you know, I don't want to sell mean, but I mean six V one, I would just kinda go ahead and get it over with, get the second game started. Yeah, like it, it it would be possible if he was in like the CS maybe, the bat having that long reload. All you gotta do is push two guys and oh, oh wow, that's <laughs> a way to kill him. <laughs> you want me to go down, Mexican? Uh, yes, please. I'm gonna uh, get this in real quick. On Mexican side, we have the Tough 45 and the E4 with two kills, 3,336, or 63 damage and 151 assist. Ducky in the Chieftain MK6 with 2,681 damage and 47 assist. Adi in the VZ55 with two kills, 2,576 assist damage and 281 assist. Kratos in the IS7 with two kills, 2,556 damage and 338 assist. Uh, Yagma on the bad chat with 1989 damage and 30 or 63 assist. Dark in the type 5 with 1379 damage and 1522 assist. Boy in the CS63 with one kill, 506 damage and 1398 assist. Nice, nice. And over on the White Wolf side, uh, Helmstooth in that Tehran with 1687. Intense doo doo in the Iron Army with one kill, 1654. Buzz Blade, Super Conquer, 1241. Man, that name. Oh, man. Uh, Milani? How do you pronounce that? I'm going to call him Lab. Uh, in the bat chat with 956, Lone Killer in the Super Conk with 441. Ace Gunner in the Machine, 279. And Ion Beast in that Conqueror. Um, just getting focused out on that push, unfortunately. Uh, coming in with a zero. Uh, Dis, welcome to the stream. Room should be open for you, sir. Yeah, I'm, I popped in here. So it looks like we already got a game under the belt. Who took that first one? Um, Mexican is up 1-0, so you did not miss yeah. much action. Yeah, I was watching Mexican on an earlier stream you did, and they looked really good. Talk about a team that has really progressed quickly in comp. I like this team a lot. Oh, yeah, they are, uh, they're kind of another one of those teams, like, you know, you just really seen them pop up about, I don't know, what, 10 months ago, 10 months to a yeah, year? Yeah, like I said, within the last year, and they were okay, like most teams that start. And then, boy, like I would say in the last couple months, they have really come on. I mean, that's not a team to take lightly. But I'm, I mean, we're seeing that a lot. I mean, you know, Mexican, us can, keg is improving so much. Like, just seen it all over the board from, from you know, the uh, – what would you call it, intermediate teams to the semi-pro teams? Mm -hmm. It's like a lot of people getting better. A lot of growth and a lot of really just exciting comp play, which I'm just glad, you know, all these new teams breed so much life into uh, into the comp scene. So 
Hey, we welcome it, and we love to showcase it here. Oh, yeah. And hopefully we get even more coming soon, you know. Yeah. Hey, Demon, how are you doing, bud? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> coming off of a couple of wins today, so. Nice. Oh, okay, nice. we'll take it. Can't go wrong with that. Against? <laughs> What'd you say? You want to say who those wins were against or not? <laughs> uh, let me see if I can find them, because I think we deleted the posts. Ah, uh, okay. Uh-oh. I know there was a little rough outing against King the other night, but... Uh, but yeah, I wasn't here, able to make it to that it. one. Yeah. Like, uh... Some of the rotations and the calls weren't weren't quite as quick as uh, I'm used to seeing with you guys when you're calling. Yeah, like we, we don't quite have a, a secondary caller unless like Bono or Jamal are there and they're often busy with work. Yeah, I figured, I figured Bono was uh, was calling on that. And he's pretty good. I like him a lot. He's a smart guy. Yeah, bon Bono does a great job. Uh, we played uh, in Calamity. We played EL and took it to overtime. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, All right. Man. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I uh, forgot I had a YouTube video up, um, uploading. So the stream may be a little bit laggy there for that first round, but I just uh, canceled it, and we should be good to go. So that is my fault. And Hellcat, welcome to the chat, man. Good to see you around here. Oh, hell! Trusk, Slayer Von Death, all out in the house. Oh, geez, in the house. Kind of threw me off looking over and seeing Winston out fights in the chat for a second there. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> real quick, over on the Mexican side, uh, Chunky and Blacks in the Chieftains, uh, Black War Hero in the 260, Yawgmoth in the Bat Chat, Joy, Dark, McMamba in the 63s and the Tough in the E4. A real aggressive play by Mexican right off the gates in those fast 63s up there. They have the Chieftains will probably hold the ramp. I do like this very interesting play where they have the bat chat out here on the uh, on that like uh, two three line out there in the water. Oh, they aren't already taking a big hit from the E4. Got punched. I have seven taking hits too. Now, how aggressive are they going to be with this 260? It looks like he's just said hang behind the rock there. They already kind of did their initial damage. I kind of find that 260 pick interesting, though. It is. It's it's a speedy tank, but, you know, its armor doesn't always hold up really well. But, you know what, Demon, it's one of those tanks in the hands of a really good tanker. It's surprisingly pretty good in comp. Ooh, Iron Arnie goes down. However, both uh, one of the chieftains from Mexican and one of the CSs are at half health. These super conquerors up here with uh, Beast and Lone Killer have been put in work, but they're also almost at half health. Yeah, these uh, these heavies have been making a lot of big trades, and I believe the Tehran did get a good shot into the chieftain as well. Ooh. I just feel like uh, White Wolves is over poking just a little bit. Yeah, they're being yeah, very aggressive. World War Three tried to come up and help those chieftains and took a shot from the E4 and somebody else. He's down half now. Yeah. But you know, I have to Ooh. say it, the hit points are pretty even. And uh, they got uh, Chunky down to a one shot and uh, Dark is down to a one shot on the Mexican side. So I think White Wolves is getting the better of it up there. Now, this is a smart move. Looks like the bat may be applying cap pressure. Oh, he, is he he's just going to flank all the way around. Oh, Choi went down. If he does, he's going, is he going to go after the, the Terran? Maybe? I guess that's the play. It doesn't seem mm. like a great, I don't know, bat chat versus Terran. <laughs> he can clip him, right? He can clip him with five shots if he lands everything. But he's at a lose half of his health. Mm, doing it looks like he's going to take Lone Killer oh, out first. Nice play. He might get oh. World War Three here. Oh, but oh, the Terran shoots AG at him. 
Yeah, only hits him for 557. That's a huge misplay because now he can't even kill him with a second shot. Yeah, and Mexican, they're using that chaos that they, that, that Batch Hat's bringing to their advantage, putting a lot of those guys to one shot. Yeah, because yeah. one of them now is turned around and is shooting back at the Batch Hat. Yeah, good call Don't there, Demon. just can't get the pin on the I-7, though. He's bounced three shots off of him. In fact, the Tehran just going to push Yogg right here. Yeah, Hounds is just sitting. He's loaded up. He should be a one-shot now for Hounds. Hounds should finish him with one. Yep, yep. boom. Gosh, this game is so close. The hit points are almost even, but there's a ton of one one shot tanks out there. Ooh. Here comes that 260 now. Yeah, and that 260s, the 260 and the Terran are. Ooh, there goes D4. Yeah, this if Ace Gunner can hold right here, get a shot into Dark Mamba. Oh, he shot HE. Oh, the Terran's gonna be loaded. The Terran misses. Oh my goodness. That's a, that's a lot of tanks. Now, here's the only thing, is that there's three one-shot tanks versus the Terran, but yep. this uh, 260 that kind of saved all its hit points can take a shot and uh, really push that Terran out. And honestly, that was a smart play from Mexican right there. Bait out the shot so that the two, these two guys can push up and just start pulling damage before he's able to shoot. Takes down another tank. Oh. Good shot by the Chieftain. Oh. That was a nail biter, guys. <laughs> yeah, that was went either way, yeah. Oh. That was a shot away from going. I mean, imagine if the, the Terran had not shot high explosives at the bat chat. He would have killed him in just two shots, or maybe someone else would have got him, and that would have been the difference of the game. Yeah, fantastic by both sides. I'll, I'll run down damage on the White Wolf side if one of you guys want to grab a Mexican. Looks like Hound's up there. Uh, great game. Four kills. Four, four, uh, 44 four, uh, in damage. Uh, just excellent work there. Uh, World War Three in the IS-7, picking up a kill with 2,400 in damage. Uh, looks like he blocked about six, uh, 1,570. Um, Beast in the Super Conk. Uh, those super, all the Super Conks were super aggressive. 22-23. Uh, uh, Lone Killer also up there on that ramp, putting up 1,829, doing a great job. And then Blade in the Super Conk doing 16-23. Over to you, Demon. Yeah, on Mexican side, you have Choi in that CS63 with one kill, 3,542 damage, 98 assisted. Tough in the E4 with two kills, 3,252 damage with 98 assisted also. Ducky in the Chieftain MK6 with 3,132 damage and 960 assisted. Uh, Black Ops in the Chieftain MK6 with 2,299 damage and 98 assisted for the third person. And Dark in the CS-63 with two kills, 2,049 damage, no assisted. Uh, War Hero in the Object 260 with one kill, 1,549 damage, 729 assisted. And Yagma in the Bad Chat with one kill, 127 damage, and another 98 assisted. Nice. I, I do think, you know, we were questioning that 260 out there with uh, War Hero, but boy, that those extra hit points came in handy at the end of the game. Yeah, and I think... Uh, back on what you said about the, the Super Conquerors uh, Beaver on the first game. See, I think that was actually a smart play from them because a Chieftain in that angle wasn't going to be able to be high enough to shoot at those uh, CSs and stuff in the middle cap, which the che Super Conquerors can. Because they're just a little bit taller, they're able to shoot over that little bit. Yeah, of hill. That's they, got a little, they got a little more, little more gun depression coming off the, the ramps and hills. All right, boys, looks like we're going to Ghost Town. Ghost Town, NBA, gosh. Been watching some teams boost those uh, Terrans up there on the hill on defense, so I wonder if we're going to oh, see man. any of that. We, Have you seen some of that? We we streamed a match yesterday. I forget which one it was. It was too Might have been Mexican. No, no, it wasn't Mexican. It was um, Mexican? Okay. I, I, I want to say And I saw was... both teams did it back to back. <laughs> they did, and both teams struggled with it. It took them... I think one team didn't even get it up there. One team struggled. It took them twice, and both teams lost on offense. 
um, trying uh, when they were trying you to can't dilly daddle because you're you're taking three tanks out of the game at your initial setup to try to hit this home run and uh, sure if you can get it up there successfully but it just seems like watching those two those streams it's not that easy of a maneuver yeah like like i've done it a few times in some of ours if you do it if you fail on the first try just give up you're you're putting your yeah. guys too you out have to go to plan b you have to have plan yeah. b and go okay because you're right once you start making that second or third attempt the game could be over because you've given up so much map control and intel and that's what happened to one team they were trying for the second attempt and it was just taking so long the rest of their tanks in the town had already been fighting killed yeah 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 I mean, they're so engaged by the time, and they're, they yeah. don't have guns but it doesn't look like we're going to see any of that. I just looking at the oh. lineup, I don't I don't see that for coming from Well, us. we do see a, I do see a Terran. I know. Well, maybe they will jump it up there. Who knows. Okay, just waiting one more tank. So the problem I have with that jump with the Terran though, personally, is that it does really really well at covering that top A base and that road. Mm -hmm. That's I think on like CD line. Yeah, that but kind of diagonal they... road, yeah. Yeah, but if they push anywhere else, that Terran is entirely ineffective. Yeah, because I've seen a lot of teams that, you know, they wrap the autoloader wow. sometimes, and if they push from the south up and it gets dimed out, it, it, it's instead of die. It, it might get a shot off, it but it's going die. Yeah. It's, it's going to take shots up there. It's going to probably take fall damage getting down, and yeah, it's, it's bad. And that, that's a huge thing that a lot of teams look for, too, is, like, if you see there's a Terran on defense, there's a 90% chance he's going up it? there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see if they take the chance on it. Now, it was funny. Uh, one of the teams that did get the Terran up there yesterday, the opposing team put a Mana Core on cap. Yes. So Saw it, that in that it, little brick building. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see what they do. Mexican, we'll get a tell real quickly here. If yep, that there. is going to be, they're doing it. Yep. VZ and 50B staying back. The VZ and the 50B. I'm also bringing back an eye. Imagine seven. the OB Terran, uh, probably the VZ, and then the 50B said so to give it the little goose. Let's see if they get it on the first one. They have the right spot. It looks like they're going to elect for the I 7 instead. Let's see if it's enough to kick it. It's already sliding. I don't think, so, no. Okay, they just we got need to a give up. on number one. And the worst part is, is looking, at, looking at how WW is attacking, he's yeah, going to be yes. ineffective up. up there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now they got him on his side. Okay, so he had, they got yeah, to bail need. off of this. Or they got to bail up. Hot Wolves is pushing in. This Chieftain is going to be in trouble very soon. Kratos is in big trouble. Kratos yeah, will in... go down quickly. And they're trying a third attempt, and they're about to be losing tanks. Say so Kratos is going to be in trouble. He's about to have three tanks looking at him. Huh. Two of them missed. Three of them missed. Damo racked. Yeah, he's in big trouble right now. Racked again. Focus fire there. And done. That's how you take out a tank. Mexican uh -huh. downed one tank, and they have tanks out of position badly. Okay, uh, 50B and Tehran both take a shot. They need to get this this chieftain oh, yeah. that's kind of out. Looks like Wattwool's super conks. I'm going to start pushing this VZ back. Yeah, he has to drop and get out of there quickly. Hottie Mexican needs is to get behind Hottie. the crane. And, yeah, and there we go. Move the Type 5, hug up. Right, 25 seconds on the cap, and I mean, just nobody from Mexican in a position to get a reset at all. No, and and I think they, even they just if they seem, YOLO, they just seem a little flustered. They're not in great positions here, and you're under 10 seconds. Four, no, they're not four tanks have time on the cap. It. Oh, Wattles is going to get a free cap. 
There it is. White Wolves takes it. Nice job, White Wolves. And and that's, I, I mean, I didn't want to jinx the map, but we were just talking about that. And uh, boom, we, we saw firsthand what can happen if uh, you commit to something that's not working. Yeah, I'll go like down the, the uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll go to the Mexican side right now. Uh, Cotty right there in the VZ, uh, only one to break 2K for uh, that team putting up 2379. Uh, I'm off uh, in the IS7 putting up 1865, and then boy, it just drops off after that. Uh, and you look at that Terran putting up a zero. Uh, the 50B, what, landing a shot. Um, so, um, you know, important tanks that should be doing a heck of a lot of damage, just not in the game. Over to you. Yeah, on WW side, you have a uh, Lone Killer in the Super Conqueror with one kill, 1,534 damage, and 1,087 assisted. Uh, the e, uh, Inferno in the E4 with 1,511, and by his blade with... Uh, in the Chieftain MK6 with 1,156 1, damage, and everybody under that is one or two shots were landed from them. Type 5 on Hound didn't even have to fight. Yeah, they just jumped on cap and won the game. <laughs> the easy way, right? <laughs> All right, good comp lesson to everybody out there watching. Um, if you got a plan and it doesn't work the first time, you got you to make a plan B and move on. Yeah, like... We did it in one of our CTW matches. We just had a Terran roaming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which, which can be kind of scary, right? You're running to a tank that can hit you for you know, 950. <laughs> Nobody wants to get hit by that. Oh. I, just, I just think in terms of like a safer, kind of more realistic play, if you want to bring a TV, and E4 works really great on this map. It's flexible, has a good turret. Yeah, Let's I've seen points. teams bring in badgers. Oh yeah. Saw oh, a team play a badger earlier. I played a badger earlier. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're getting picked up. That has to be a big lift to White Wolves now. Um, you know, they played really aggressive, good focus fire. Uh, you know, they didn't get overly aggressive and, like, go for a kill-all. They went for the smart play. They got on the cap. They defended the cap and uh, got the easy win. Let's see if they can tie this up right now. Oh, yeah, they played hey. that perfectly, honestly. Yeah. Taco Boy, thank you for that resubscribe, man. I think Mexican they... probably is ju just a little bit, probably uh, licking some wounds there, trying to figure out, hey, guys, we, we had this up to zip, and we were had all the momentum, and we just gave it away. Yeah, like, White Wolves, e even if Mexican had gotten through that initial line of defense that White Wolves set up, because that's exactly what they did. They set up guys in a line, making it to where you had to get through a guy to even get to the cap. The uh, Type 5 was sitting in front of two of the guys that were on cap. Yes, yeah, and, and yeah, that wasn't going to happen quickly. Yeah, very good point. Sometimes it's not just enough to get on cap. You have to throw that tank out there in front that is going to uh, absorb that damage and, and cause a delay. And they did a great job of uh, thinking about that. All right. So I think uh, pressure in this match has shifted a little bit to Mexican, even though they're up 2-0. Uh, that was a pretty handy win by White Wolves there. And White Wolves has to have uh, some good confidence coming into this next one on defense. Oh, yeah. Uh, over on the Mexican side, real quick, uh, GPS in the unskinned Valor, Yawkmoth in the machine, uh, Chucky and Dark McMamba in the IS7s with the Kratos, the Tough in the 50B, and the Blacks in the Tehran. It looks like White Wolves is running. Uh, oh, sorry. You want to go ahead and run their uh, lineup? Yep, and on uh, White Wolf's side, you have Bias Blade and Melon in the Chieftain MK6, Ace Gunner, Lone Killer, and uh, Ion Beast, all in Super Conquerors, Hound back in the Type 5, and Inferno in the E4. Perfect. Very very uh, meta lineup for uh, both sides coming out here. Uh, the Tehran is kind of, the, again, uh, 
interesting choice. Looks like that I'd probably run it back to that B line, maybe that B0 position. And uh, they're definitely going for an A cap, uh, Mexican is. Yeah, and the, the lineup they picked kind of screams that IS-7s can get can perfectly haul down in that. They don't really have yeah. those tanks to be brawling. Yeah, I like where they're kind of getting that uh, Terran out there. If that Terran, if he has that right spot and looks pretty good, he can put some slaps down. Uh, that's going to be kind of rude once they get on cap. Comes the IS-7s around that outside, the machines moving up. I, yep. Instead of be... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh-oh. Looks like we have some hesitation. contact here. I don't think Mexican was expecting those three tanks there, but Ace Gunner goes down super quick. Oh. The focus fire was was real right there. On a long so actually... he's going to find an I-7 right in front of him. Yeah. So both teams are doing the right thing. This is the point where you have to make a push. You can't sit in that little square and get hit on by three different sides. Yep. you got to push out of this. All right, now GPS should go down here. He's just in a circle of wobble tanks right now. He does. Great reactions by White Wolves. They have him pinned in. White Wolves needs to use aggression now. None of the tanks can really support each other very well or Mexican. So this is the time. Single out Chucky. They're making the right thing. Ignore Dark. Get up there. Take a tank out of the game. They might just push him off. Looks like they are going to try it up. Oh, he doesn't die, Oh, though. he didn't die! <laughs> oh, no. Now they're just going to try to drive off on top of him. Oh! Oh, but Lone goes down because of it. Lone goes down and they get the kill. This is crazy. So HP bars aren't that much different right now. With how no, low a couple of them are, Black Ops here. plays this the smart. The go down. The, but that I, I think White Wolves just they instead of sitting back, they did exactly the right thing. They seized the opportunity when they had them all pinned in and Mexican. They were just kind of spinning and trying to figure out where the fire was coming from because it was coming from three different sides. Might take out one more tank here, and that's it. Good ram there. That brings him down to a one shot. Oh, Great take he down. Get to reload. Oof. We're tied back up, boys. Oh, great job by White Wolves. I am, you know, White Wolves been a team that's been around for a while. They know what they're doing, and uh, boy, they just took it right back to a very good comp team in Mexican right there. That's off to them. Go ahead and hit that. Uh. Mexican side there, the Heron in uh, the Blade, um, well, only was able to, um, well, no, actually put up really good damage there. He put up uh, over 4K, so he was actually to do some great farming back there. I think that 50B got off a beautiful clip initially and was able to actually reload and get a second one off with doing almost 2,500, picking up a kill. Um, Dark and the IS-7 putting up 1838, and the other IS-7 with uh, Chucky, um, it's 1707, uh, along with the counterpart Kratos with 1517. So, I mean, actually the damage on the Mexican side just wasn't that bad. It was just the fact that uh, I think they got surprised initially with those three tanks, and uh, White Wolves uh, was really aggressive. Yeah, there. White Wolves, they kind of separated them, too, pushing in right through the middle. It just kind of forced them to have one or two guys to target rather than Mexican, who had two or three guys that were able to shift and use one dude's health bar, and then he got low, and then the other dude would take the front. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, well, Chief, oh, do you want to hit the damage on them? Yeah. yeah on uh, White Wolf's side, you have Bias Blade and the Chieftain MK6 with two kills, 3,723 damage. Uh, Melon in the Chieftain MK6 also with 3 kills, 3,410 damage and 411 assist. Uh, by Houndstooth in the Type 5 Heavy with 1 kill, 2,171 damage. Ion Beast in the Super Conqueror with 1,988. Blacker in the E4 with 1 kill, 810 damage. Lone Killer in the Super Conqueror with 1,394 damage. And Ace Gunner in the Super Con another Super Conqueror with 876 yeah, I love that damage spread and the fact that you have two chieftains pumping over 3K. That's awesome. 
I mean, that's just that's just what those tanks can do is, is you hold that trigger down and keep shooting. And looking at like how their shots that they fired compared to hit, like Bly's blade hit every shot. Uh, Melon yeah. only only missed two. Almost yeah, every guy on their re- team hit every shot. Yeah, well, even the Type Five, what he hit, landed four penetrations out of five shots fired. I mean, still really good production, and that was a short game. I mean, once that first encounter happened, Demon, the game was over in like three minutes. So it wasn't like they were. This was like a protracted battle. That's good damage. Yeah, and that was just a slight misplay on Mexican side. They had a guy able to look at that angle where the Type Five and the. Uh... E4 came from, they, he just didn't peek out, so they, they the, those three guys that were fighting already got caught completely by surprise, and two of them got taken mm-hmm. out due to it. Yep. And normally, you know, on Ghost Town, it's not one of those maps where, yeah, you need intel, but it's also a close map that you can make rotations in tight spaces pretty quickly, but it just, it, it like, I, I initially... It, it seemed like Mexican was really surprised by where White Wolves were, and it kind of rattled them a little bit in terms of, like, they were trying to get set up to put cap pressure on. You could see, like, where that strat was going, and it, the whole thing just blew up in their face. Yeah, it, it, it there's a lot of things that could have happened on either side. You know, at the end of the day, like even after they got that whole split up of Mexican, those health bars were almost identical. They're both in the three mm-hmm. thousands. The Mexican did a great job trying to pull that back, but like the Terran being kind of far out, wasn't really able to support the last few guys that are left. They managed to get taken out by the rest of the White Wolves team. Yeah. Well, that's how that's why we do this because it's fun and. Go back and forth. I don't know whose map pick that was, but uh, uh, that was Watt Wolves. Yeah, they. I mean, they own that map, so they look great. So we're moving over to Marovanka, uh, which we've seen some really fun plays going on here. Seems like the meta right now is uh, either you try to take that southern cap and sneak on something and play that kind of that long protracted battle from range, or you just push like heck down the the two three line, get on cap, and make it a big brawl. You know, we have been seeing a lot of the one, two, three brawls here lately. Mm-hmm. My my kind of my thing on the brawl is that I think a lot of teams overcommit to the cap when they know they have a tank advantage. And what I mean by that is if you're committing to look, where did it go down the two line? Where did it get on cap and try to quick cap it? If you see t- two of the opposition tanks in the field like two mediums or a heavy or a light tank and a TD or something like that. You got to go all in, get off the cap and go in. Cause you have the numbers advantage. Uh, instead I see teams sit around and then they start getting farmed in the side and getting picked apart on the edges and picked apart on the top. And before you know it, then it's an all in brawl and it's a big, it's a big mess. And generally the offensive team loses. Um, but we'll see what they do today. It looks like a um, little unsure on some taint picks for uh, a couple of these guys. See some <laughs> well, pretty classic lineup so far coming out of White Wolves. You know, you you want those British hull town tanks to kind of work that ridge line along the three. Definitely in a light tank to get some intel. Bat Chat gives you some rotation clip ability. Terran gives you that big slap. You can kind of use him looking down the two line or looking down towards that southern cap. Uh, same thing coming out of the uh, Mexican side. I don't see too big of a tell one way or the other of what they want to do. Um, Normally, like when you see that push down the two line, you see a little bit more Soviet armor, you know, like IS-7s and things like that. They start loading up. Teams start kind of giving that away. Um, I do kind of like if you're running two mediums to mix it up with the the kind of the single shot CS and the bat chat with the clip. And you're you're never you're always having putting out damage that way. All right, here we go. 
Hide up 2 2. This is going to be a big tell. Uh, Mexican has to be uh, like, hey, we gotta, we gotta kick it in gear here. All right, uh, real quick, over on the White Wolf side, it's, it's Doo Doo, Lone Killer, and Splacker Inferno all coming out in Chief and Five Blade back in the Super Conqueror. Uh, Labs in the Bat Chat, Ace Gunner in the LT, and Helms Tooth in a Tron. Uh, you want to go over the uh, Mexican side, this? Oh, on the Mexican side, yeah, we have a uh, Kratos and the through in both in the Chieftains in the IS-7. We have Chucky in the Bat Chat. We have Yarmouth uh, Choi in the 63 in the LT Dark. And then funny, finally, uh, Lan OPZ in the Taran. Oh, Interesting split thought. coming out of the gate here. Ooh. I'm looking at Mexican. They're to, they're to hang back with these chieftains and kind of play this kind of like rear extended guard here. And the plays that would be through the forest and definitely is going to be a B cap. Uh, they want to use these chieftains here to hold everybody up here on the two line while they make this play. He is going to be intel. Ooh. Bad chat yeah, is so, a lot so, of damage. Yeah, so White Wolves used the bad chat to try to spot out there and let, let Ace Gunner go to the top side. Oh, no, he's in trouble. Melon, Melon is, uh, he's a one-shot. And Ace is uh, down half his hit points. This is not good for White Wolves. They're, both their spotting tanks have been really beat up here. She played around a little cat pressure and came off right there. Interesting how these chieftains are kind of creeping up on the inside of the four line. Uh, if they get up underneath the white wolves, they're going to have a lot of trouble. All right, he's getting pretty aggressive here. Oh, great shot shots on the LT. On the, LT. Woo. the Mexicans also got to be careful got... here too, though, because of that. East Gunner got himself in a really nice position right there. He's hard to hit, but the chieftains, I think, can put shots into him maybe, yeah? Uh, if they can hit him, he is down in that dip. Now, Chucky taking a lot of hits trying to push up here. Like mostly AG, uh, high explosive shots right there. Yeah, so Mexicans, uh, Chieftains will have shots on Ace Gunner, but that's going to be a pixel shot. Yeah, he's down to a one shot, so if they connect with anything, I think he's done. And there he goes. Yep. Now they can put cap pressure back on with Dark if they want to. I love how they move those chieftains up underneath. That's a really, really difficult position to get those chieftains because if you poke on those chieftains, they have a ring of fire set up just to punish hard. And it's going to be hard now with cap pressure back on. They're going to make it even harder with uh, Yogbon, the bad chat, being back here. If they peek oh, up too gosh, much to yeah. try to get shots, he's going to get shots on them. Yeah, if he gets a free clip off on anybody, uh, this is going to be GG's really quick. Here he comes. There goes yep. one. Oh, Ooh, good shot the at the bat chat. Nice. So White Wolf's down two tank. Cap pressure's on. Oh, they just lost another tank with another bad poke. To run and is Karen, getting punished. Houndstooth is down to one shot. Do they throw the Terran on? Yes, they do. They throw the Terran on. Now... The, no, Terrence just said go up behind the house and kill people. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sensing that uh, Mexican wants to really just kill all of White Wolves on this one? It feels like it. They want some revenge it feels for like uh, it. <laughs> Ghost Town. I don't think it was a pure they want to kill anyone. I think it's they're putting that Terran there as a you want to push me. You're going to have to come yeah, through. Yeah, you're going to because... get, get punched. You're going to pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. So the last thing, though, is pushing off cap. So it is now, a kill all. Man. I have a feeling this is more of a, a this is a little bit of a statement <laughs> because they easy, easily could have put this the CS and the Terran on and then capped out uh, ages ago.
and I get it. Sometimes when you, you, you lose two in a row and you feel like you got the momentum, you want to. <laughs> I just think they won't pay back for that I-7 getting pushed off and drove on top of it. Was that dark they pushed off? I didn't notice who it was when they did that. I don't remember. It was, uh, I just remember it was I-7. And there it goes. Mexican, very dominant in that match. Uh, I really love the initial play with the Chieftains on that three line. Um, yeah, it's good. And then and then working their way up underneath. That's a that's a high level execution on their part. Um, I will take care of the White Wolf side. Uh, White Wolf by his blade in the Conqueror. Really nice game there. Almost getting close to 4K. That was a really sweet job. Getting some good resets early on and definitely put up a heck of a fight. Houndstooth in the Terran, uh, putting up 2302, picking up a kill there. Uh, good job in his tank. Uh, Slacker Inferno in the Chieftain, putting up 1227, picking up a kill. Also blocking 1370. Not bad there, reworking the Chieftain. And then, boy, it drops off pretty quick there for the rest of the White Wolf's team. And on over, Mexican side, oh, oh you got yeah, it. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Oh. Uh, over, uh, over on the Mexican side, uh, Yawgmoth in that bad chat with a big 3804 damage. Uh, Kratos in the Chieftain, two kills, 3120. The Tough in the Chieftain, one kill, 2710. Chucky Yupu in the IS7 with one kill, 2004. Uh, the Blacks in the Tehran with 1235. Choi in the 63, one kill, 1162. And Dark in the LT with two kills, 415. No, I was just looking yeah. over at chat. It's giving me a little bit because I'm broke <laughs> on my silver. <laughs> they, they're giving you, you – they're, they're harshing your silver there, bud. I, I do want to just point out one more thing on the Mexican side. I mean the tanks that you want to punch out damage really did a great job. Uh, the Bat Chat, the Chieftains, uh, you know, putting up big damage. You had the Bat Chat player there out of 12 shots fired, 10 penetration. That's exactly what you want out of a Bat Chat. And he made crazy rotations all over the map to get those shots. So great job. Right, so what do we got? We got both teams picked up, ready to go. All right. White Wolves, you can do this. You can tie this thing up here. You've already proven it. Yeah, and like, like I stated before, you know, Mexican, they're really known for their brawling ability, and WW's really, really strong for their uh, rotating ability, and we've seen that on mm -hmm. these maps. Even on Ghost Town, we saw that quick rotate from WW that brought them that win. Exactly, and I think that's I, that's where their head has to be right now. Um, I mean, this lineup looks like a two-line lineup to me. Um with the with the VZ, the IS7, the E4, I mean, it feels like that. You got two VZs and an IS7. That just seems like they're going to straight to A cap. But you know, I might be wrong. But the light tank. Yeah, the only problem with the doing a lineup like that is if Mexican notices all that tank lineup and they're like, yeah, this is clearly going to be a one-two line, they could set up everybody for it. And, and that and that's the thing is like how you, you run the risk of disguising it versus execution and this kind of comes down to the point i was making before do you just all run and sit on the cap or oh they're doing something a little bit different here look where these vz's are going with the e4 kind of out wider i wonder if they're going to try to make that line and hit that like that outside house i don't know let's see He did go a lot. Now they are going to have a bit of an overmatch here. Yeah, but see, my thing is you got to grab it quick. Now they don't really have an overmatch because look how uh, yeah, Mexican has pulled everything back. back. It's, it's, Mexican read it perfectly. Now they just need to pick apart the tanks. And one of the things that happened is they actually shifted this cap more towards the one line in the last patch, which made it a lot more difficult to... Uh, to make that quick cap and look at this mexican rotation to the inside beautiful and now they just got to push push focus fires are to be key here 
The problem they might run into, though, granted, they do have their bat out in the city, is uh, White Wolf's two bats sitting out in the open. That Ooh, piece finally goes down. Iron Beast goes down quick. And now they have no cap pressure, and all their tank, well, most of their tanks are trapped. This E4 is, Hounds is trying to get into a position where he can actually get some punish in, but uh, these other three tanks are just caught in a meat grinder right now. They're going to push in. They're trying to get that E4 out. He is down to one, but Ace, they're going to go down. Took the bats, trying to do a little Lone bit of killer's chaos a one. here, but... World War Three is a one, so the focus fire is pretty good still. Lone killer goes down. World War Three goes down. So, like Demon said, is that do you want to brawl with Mexican? And the answer is no. Yeah, and like that wasn't an entire misplay on WW side. They had it. Was they, it? Oh, they they actually had the win in that fight there with the bats start shooting in the behind. It looked like the bats were bouncing a lot. And they focused just a little too much on trying to take the D4 out. They could have taken out one of those chieftains had they just turned the guns, but they just tried to take out the D4 instead and just waited to shoot too long. Yeah. But I, I mean, I just wanted to give Mexican a good credit because they read the, they read what the strat was, and I think the worst thing you can do sometimes is be a little bit too passive with a team. And I think they surprised White Wolves by taking that inside push on the three line and then coming right into them. They just were like, heck, we got to fight now. <laughs> yeah, like it, it looked like they were going to set people up on that uh, two line, that little hill there to try to push. But I, I think when uh, Dark came in with that T100, he spotted out that E4. They decided against it and just tried to take that E4 completely out of the fight. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. smart. Is that it? So that's uh, 42. Uh... Guess that is four to two, so Mexican's gonna take the win tonight. And that is gonna do it for us. Um but we will be back Wednesday night. I may have a little surprise set up Wednesday night. So uh stay tuned for that. Some people will really really uh if I can pull it off, some people would really love this. Um, all right guys, so Wednesday night, I'll catch you guys later. See you then.